Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the new screen sharing features in Microsoft Teams meetings. Alright, let's dig in. So here I am in a Teams meeting and the time comes when I need to share my screen, share content from my computer. Now as you probably know, you're going to go up to your screen sharing button here at the top right and it has the up arrow inside the rectangle. So I'm going to click on that and what you're going to see here is this is a little bit different. These options used to pop up uh, across the bottom of the screen here but they no longer do. It's simply a drop down here where you can access the different content that you'd like to share. The first thing you will see are the screen options. In this case I have two monitors so I have two screen options. Do I want to share the screen on my left or do I want to share the screen on my right? If you have a third screen, you will see yet another thumbnail image of that screen. Okay, below that it says window and the number seven. That means I have seven windows open. Some of them are applications, some of them might be just file browsing windows. But this allows you to, in the event that you just want to share a single app or a single window that's open on your computer, you're going to go ahead and click here it will expand to open and show you all of your open windows. So I have here my meeting window obviously is open there. I have the Edge browser is open. I have my Outlook application for email open. I have Google Chrome, Microsoft Teams, and then my Camtasia Studio app. So I could select a single application here to share with my audience. To back out of that, I'm going to click this back arrow here up at the top. Okay, so below your window options, you have the Microsoft Whiteboard option. This is the option that you use when you want to bring up a shared whiteboard space where you and everyone in your team meeting can collaborate together. And by the way, there's an update to the Microsoft Whiteboard where now you can set it so only you have control of the whiteboard. All right, below that we have our PowerPoint Live options. So here is when you want to run a specific presentation and only share that presentation. What you're seeing here are recent PowerPoint files that you have accessed. For quick access, you can just click on them. Now, if you don't see the PowerPoint you want there, you can go ahead and browse to find it on your OneDrive or you can browse it if it's located on your computer and pull it up. And you could actually pull up any file, it doesn't have to be a PowerPoint, you can pull up any file you would like to share with your audience. Okay, and so that is how your screen sharing works. Uh, and as you probably know, you have the include computer sound option here. So if you know you're going to be playing a video and you want your audience to hear the audio, from that video, you want to make sure you turn that on. So I'm going to go ahead and share uh, my screen on the left here. So I'll select screen uh, on the left. And so here it's bringing up my desktop. So I can really show anything that I pull onto this screen. Um, in this case, I'm looking at the browser and browsing a website. When I'm done sharing, obviously, I'm going to go back to my team meeting and I can select Stop Sharing. You'll also notice that when you are sharing, there is a red line around your computer screen. You can see a very thin red line all the way around the screen uh, and that allows, that just lets you know that this is the area that's being shared with your audience. You can also give users control of your screen if you'd like to share control and have somebody take over. Also here, this is the button for sharing the computer sound. So if you forgot to uh, turn that on, you can turn it on here. And I can also stop presenting here. All right, so that wraps up this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Remember to click subscribe and follow us. Have a great day.